have a long and proud history of innovation here at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center. From the very beginning, we've been leading the way for specialized care in the heart of Denver. Our story begins near where Mile High Stadium stands today, in a building that was the Grand View Hotel, and then an insane asylum before transitioning to a hospital. During the late 1800s, hospitals were considered pest houses for the poor and were not allowed inside city limits. Our founders fought to move St. Luke's Hospital into the heart of the city, so residents could get the care they needed closer to home. The new hospital performed surgery, offered maternity care, and helped patients impacted by tuberculosis, typhoid, and malaria. St. Luke's Hospital continued its commitment to enhancing care by launching the School of Nursing in 1892, improving the quality of medical care throughout Denver and beyond. The first class included 17 women between the ages of 20 to 35, all who met the basic requirements of good eyesight, hearing, and memory, good character, and good education. We pushed ourselves further during the late 1920s when the newly constructed Presbyterian Hospital offered 127 luxurious rooms with telephones, sinks, and toilets, and access to cutting-edge medical technology for the time, like very early X-ray technology and motorized ambulances, which replaced horse and buggy transportation. Patients paid for care financially or with in-kind donations. Some even bartered for services with pet chickens and potatoes. Our history is filled with incredible firsts. In 1961, St. Luke's opened the region's first intensive care unit. In 1968, Dr. John Groh Sr. performed the first coronary bypass surgery in Denver and one of the first ever. In 1979, two of Denver's leading medical institutions, St. Luke's and Presbyterian, joined forces. In 1981, the high-risk OB program and neonatal intensive care unit was spearheaded by obstetrician Dr. William Fuller, neonatologist Dr. Peter Honeyfield, and perinatologist Dr. Richard Porico. Its 24-hour coverage was unique to Colorado for the time. In 1983, Air Life made its first life-saving helicopter flight from our hospital's roof. In 1986, Ross Wilkins, MD, one of the world's most respected orthopedic surgeons, started the Institute for Limb Preservation with the late Dr. Tom Arganese. In 1991, bone marrow transplant began at PSL. Colorado Blood Cancer Institute, in partnership with the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute, has performed more than 3,500 transplants, making it the largest, most experienced full-service stem cell and bone marrow transplant program in Colorado and among the top programs in the country. The physician team has more than 150 years of combined experience in treating blood cancers, such as leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. Then, in 1992, a team of 13 dedicated pediatric physicians partnered to form the Department of Pediatrics at PSL, the foundation for the current Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. Fast forward to today. Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center remains a leading healthcare provider for the region. Our 84-bed neonatal intensive care unit at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children is the largest in the region. Among the largest transplant programs in the country, Colorado Blood Cancer Institute, in partnership with the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute, is honored to be the Rocky Mountains leader in this field. We are home to a leading edge kidney and liver transplant program. We are the national leader for limb threatening conditions. We are home to a world renowned spine program. We have the most advanced surgical robots in the region. Our 24-7 adult and pediatric ER has some of the shortest wait times. We offer the only multi-patient hyperbaric chamber in Colorado. We are a leading institute for neuromodulation stimulation for chronic pain in the nation. And our skull-based program excels at treatments for disorders of the head, neck, and brain. We have proudly carried our founder's legacy of innovation and leadership forward. For the past 135 years, Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center has been leading the way for specialized care in the heart of Denver, and we are looking forward to continuing this tradition long into the future.